Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Nintendo Switch 2 to a PC or laptop. And by all that, I mean uh, that you can connect your um, Nintendo uh, to, uh, like, to display the video output on your laptop or PC. And of course, you can simply connect it to a monitor uh, by uh, just taking the dock, uh, putting uh, the device in the dock, plugging in the AC adapter and HDMI out, and the HDMI should be connected to monitor, and it will all work once you put the um, device into the dock. But of course, this is not the solution you are looking for most probably. So I guess you were looking for connecting it to actually to the system, like for example, to a laptop. And to connect it to a laptop, you will need not only the dock, as I've shown you, but also a capture card. I have the Elgato Cam Link, but it can be anything else that will work with your computer. It has to have the video input. Mm, the best for it to be is the HDMI. Then the mm, output to the computer. So it'll be um, USB in my case, and it's I, actually, I, I think the best you can get USB-C or USB-A. And um, at first, of course, plug the dock in. So plug the AC adapter in. There's a lid that you can simply open, then plug the AC adapter and HDMI out. Now put your device into that dock. Okay, once it's in, we will move on to the computer in a moment, but all you need to do is plug in the HDMI into the capture card that you have. And then I'm also gonna plug in, plug it into a USB, A to USB-C converter because I only have USB-C on my laptop and I'm gonna move on to my laptop now. Okay, and now on my laptop, uh, I'll need to get the OBS uh, Studio, which will let me view the image from my um, from my Nintendo Switch. So let's search for OBS Studio. Now go to Open Bro Broadcaster Software. Uh, select either Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, whatever you have. I have Mac OS, so I'm gonna select the Apple Silicon version. Then let's download that and um, now shortly I'll have it and as you can see I have it so I'm just gonna quickly install it of course on different systems uh, this may work differently on macOS is just dragging the app to applications folder and it should be there yes it is I'm gonna open that up. Now let's click on open. Okay, mm, I already have my like things set here, so I'm just gonna uh, turn everything to the previous order. Okay, so um, now once I have it here, uh, I'll need to add the capture device. I'm just gonna delete whatever I have right here. And to add the capture device, just find sources uh, dock, click on plus, and now select uh, video capture device, click on OK. Then as a device, select your cam link, your just software. I mean your, not software, uh, select your device, uh, your capture card, uh, then I think I'm, I'm gonna leave it on high priest, set OK. And now you can see it's already uh, displaying things because I've clicked on the um, Nintendo Switch. If I click on the power button on it, it goes off. Then if I click on the power button again, it should turn on shortly. And now I can use it by clicking on the, um, the Joy-Cons, of course. And that's basically it. If you want to hide the things on the side, then on Windows, if you go to view at the top, you'll have an option to select full screen um, option that like, I don't, I don't remember what it's called, but it'll 
only display your um, <coughs> your canvas. Mm, so like th this uh, preview. Uh, if you enable full screen preview on Mac, for some reason I don't have it. So once I'm in full screen, I can just disable some of these views. The source toolbar won't be really needed. And the docs I'm gonna disable just to see um, the whole thing on a full window, right? So if I do that, then you can see I have it on the full window almost. And now I can just use the Nintendo Switch to do whatever I'd like to do here. Mm. And that's basically it. Of course, you can use the OBS to record, but I think it's better to record actually. It depends because mm, the Nintendo Switch has its record option that lets you <coughs> click, press and hold on the uh, circle button on the left Joy-Con, on the blue one. Uh, but it records just previous 30 seconds of like be before pressing the button. And here in the OBS, once I enable the, um, I forgot, um, it's like the, I think, controls. I can click on start recording and it will start recording uh, my screen. Uh, this like from from here so I can for example record my whole gameplay from like an hour or whatever time I'd like so that's also pretty great and uh, I hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one